Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make perfect bows every single time, 11 different ways. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. To start off, I am gonna do two different bows, but I'm just showing you what we need. So I take this uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree, as well as a ribbon that I got on clearance around Christmas time, as well as some jute. So for the first one with the Dollar Tree ribbon, I just take it and fold it over two times. I then cut it off and then I cut a piece longer than I cut the ones with the folds. Next, I take a piece of jute and I cut it and then I just pinch it right in the middle and then I tie the jute in the back. Now, I don't usually... Um, glue any piece in the middle on these. I actually like the way that it looks with the jute, but if that bothers you, then just cut another piece and then glue it around the middle. That way you can't see the jute, but like I said, it doesn't bother me. Next, I cut that little piece off that's kind of like the excess in the back because when you fluff this up, you'll be able to see it. And then I pull the tails down, I fluff the bow up, and then you can cut them on an angle or you can cut them in a dovetail. It's totally up to you. So here I just show you that on each side. One side is a dovetail and the other side is just on an angle. So that's just personal preference really. And then that was it. That one took really like two minutes literally. Next, I take this bigger ribbon from Dollar General, I believe, and I think I got it for like a quarter, you guys. So I did end up picking up a couple rolls of this, but for this one, you kind of just eye it and then um, depending on if you want it bigger or smaller, um, you would just do it smaller or bigger, obviously, but I fold it over on itself six times. I then just cut it and then in the middle you take it and you want to cut slits right in the middle not all the way through but just enough for your jute to um, not make it so bulky in the middle if that makes sense now you can also use wire or chenille stems. It's really up to you and really what you have on hand. So once I cut the slits, then I flip it over and I put the jute through and then tie it as tight as I can in the back. Next, obviously, I just pull all the pieces out from where they were layered and I just kind of fluff them up, play around with them till I have it to my liking. And I really like to use this technique with this thicker ribbon just because I kind of like the way that it looks like a flower. I don't see many people do a bow like this and I just love it so much so you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you like the way it looks or not so much so after I did this bow then we're going to move on to the next bow okay friends if you guys are new here my name is Melissa and I love to do all things crafty on a budget especially Dollar Tree DIYs farmhouse decor and much more so if that's something you're interested in I would love it if you would stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and then tap the bell and all to be notified every single time I upload I am going to be 
uploading twice a week now. I used to only upload on Fridays, but in the new year, I'm going to do my best to upload Mondays and Fridays. So definitely make sure you click that bell so you're notified every single time I upload. You don't want to miss another Dollar Tree moment or any fun because over here, we love to have fun and we love to DIY. So I just go to my bow uh, holder, whatever you want to call it. You guys, since I did my shed, if you haven't seen my shed video, I turned a 10 by 16 Dutchman shed that was not finished at all into my beautiful craft shack. I am so pleased with it and thankful for it. So like I said, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave it in the cards above. So I just go to my ribbon holder and I pull out some ribbon and I measure it. I do these pieces 16 inches long and I do get three, actually four different kinds, two of three different kinds and then one of another kind. So I start with the one that doesn't have another one and I just fold it halfway down and then pinch the side and that's going to be the middle part of our bow. I then take the next piece and I do the same exact thing rotating different bows or different ribbons all the way around the middle part. I continue to do that until I'm out of ribbon and I want to alternate them that way there's not the same type of ribbon next to each other if that makes sense. Next, I wrapped a piece of wire around the bottom of the ribbon. That way um, I could get this piece of jute much closer so that it kind of looked more fuller. And then when you put it on a wreath or something, it lays more flat. And then once I have the jute around as far as I can get it, then I tie it really tight in a knot and then cut that off. After that, then I just take that piece of wire off and I kind of fluff the tails out so that three of the ribbon is on, or three of the tails of the ribbon is on one side and then the other three are on the other side, making sure that two of the same are not on the same side. So you'll have three of, um, different kinds on one side and three different kinds on the other and then I take and I cut dovetails in the ends and I like this to look a little bit shaggy so I do um, cut them different lengths but if you don't like that then you can cut them the same length if you like and then that was it for that one you guys I'm telling you so many people tell me that they hate making bows and that they're afraid to make bows and I'm telling you guys with just a little bit of practice you can make beautiful bows every single time without even thinking about it especially if you have wired ribbon it's so easy to just fluff them up and make them look gorgeous and I love making bows I was never afraid because my mom actually taught me how to make bows so anyway that was it for that one and moving on to the next one so for this one, I'm going to do the same exact thing, except I have three of the same color and then another three of the same color. So two sets of the same color without one in the middle. So for this one, instead of having a piece in the middle, we're just going to start layering these. I start with the buffalo check and then I kind of alternate colors and I just do the same exact thing as the last bow.
Okay guys, so this is another super, super easy bow. I just take my ribbon and I fold it over kind of like an X. I don't even know how to explain it, but you can see what I'm doing here. And if this is too fast for any of you, for any video that you ever watch, you can click the three dots in the right hand upper corner. A menu will appear and then you can adjust the speed. But anyway, once you fold it over, then you just take another piece of jute and then tie it in the middle once again. Now for this one, I did want to show you guys how to cover up the middle um, where you can see the jute. So I just cut a small piece of the ribbon. I folded it over on, it, on itself um, two times and then I just take some hot glue after I wrap it around the middle and then I just glue those ends to the back. Then once again, I cut dovetails in it. You guys, I'm partial to dovetails. I don't know why, I think it just looks more finished than cutting it on an angle, but like I said before, it's your preference. And then that was it for that one. Another quick and easy two minute bow that looks professionally done. Now this one I wanted to show you guys because I make my daughter bows and if you guys have an Etsy shop or if you just want to make a couple bucks on like Facebook Marketplace, these are perfect for making little girls bows or um, you know even bows for yourself. You just buy clips and make the bows and then you have different colors whichever you like. So I start off with five pieces. I take two pieces and I glue them together kind of in a loop. I glue them the exact same size and then once I have them even, I glue them in the middle and just hold it together until it's glued. I then glue them together in an X and then I glue the X down to a longer piece of ribbon. Now I like to do the bottom piece that it's glued to longer, that way depending on the clip size, then I can go from there, um, whichever preference that I like to cut the ends off because eventually we're gonna cut those into dovetails. Now for the next piece, I do glue that one together a little bit smaller and I just do the same exact thing that I did the middle pieces. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I then just glue that middle piece down and then I take another piece and I wrap it around the middle and glue that down as well. And then I cut dovetails, surprise, surprise, in each of the ends. Once I cut them down, then I just take a little metal clip and I glue that right down to the metal clip. And then you can make these in probably five or 10 minutes, or if you're quicker than me, then you can make them um, quicker <laughs> and you can sell them. Or like I said, have them for yourself, for your kids. And it's just a nice way to be able to personalize bows for yourself. I know that sometimes I can't find bows to match my kids' outfits, so I just make them. So this is the last technique, and this is my favorite technique. I use this one over and over again, and it's my most used technique. So I'm going to show you three different sizes. Um, you can't really go much bigger than the third size, but if you have bigger hands, then maybe you can. 
but this is the perfect way to get a perfect bow every single time for smaller bows. And I also do this when I like double or triple up the jute. So when I do double or triple jute bows, I use this technique and it works just fine. So basically I take a piece of jute or ribbon and I lay it over the front of my two fingers. I then take the right side of it and wrap it around my two fingers. I come to the front and I go down and through my fingers. I then pull it up the back and then to the front where um, kind of like my thumb is on my pointer finger where that loop is and you just tuck that piece right through that little loop and then I like to spread my fingers so that you get a bigger bow and the more you can um, open your fingers up the bigger you your bow is gonna be and so here I'm just showing you once I get it through that loop then I just open up my fingers and I just pull that piece back and forth to tighten it up and then I slide it off. Once I take it off of my fingers then I'm just showing you here that you can fluff them up and then if you want to make your bow a little bit smaller then you just pull that piece tighter hold that end and then slide the middle piece over and you can do this make them as small as you want and you can also pull it back the other way to make it bigger if you have made it a little bit too small and then once again cut the ends of the tails however you like them so I'm going to show you the same exact technique. I'm just going to let you watch for a little bit of a bigger bow. And this is wired ribbon. And you definitely can do it. It's a little bit more tricky. And it does take another extra minute. But definitely worth it. Because like I said, you get a perfect bow every single time. I know you got me. It's so effortless. Back to back we would carry. Alright my beautiful friends we are at the end and I just wanted to show you what I love to do with these little simple bows. I like to make a few different kinds and then glue them together. Um, here I am gluing all three of them together. I just love the way that this looks. Um, I know that some people do kind of like a shaggy bow but I like to do it this way. Um, I don't know, I've been doing it like this for a while. So I just wanted to show you guys this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Monday video in a very long time. I am excited to do it. I'm excited to spend time with you guys twice a week now instead of once a week. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it too. Those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't you ever forget that you are beautiful, you are worthy, and I love you with all my heart and soul and I am grateful for you each and every day. So with all that being said, my friends, I will catch you guys on Friday. Have a wonderful week. And once again, I love you.